February 3rd, 2008, Holy Innocence top pace 61-54. While DeMarcus Avery was in the game, he had two three-pointers. Then DeMarcus left the game with a broken hand. DeMarcus is out for the season. Eric Walson led the team with 20 points. On February 6th, Holy Innocence played at Phillips Arena. The day after beating Walters 70-45, Eric Larson had 19 points and 7 rebounds, while Matt Webb had 17 points. After the Golden Bears played at 3 p.m., they were allowed to watch the Atlanta Hawks shoot ground before watching the Hawks beat the Lakers. This year in Holy Innocence Wrestling, they have had a tough season. New head coach, Coach Walrich, has said, we are not doing great, but we are doing okay. I think uh, I think the most improvement is that, uh, you know, they're coming together as a team and understanding my offense that I'm putting in and what they should be running each day and, and working on their diets. It's going pretty well. Uh, I'm having a lot better season than previous years because basically our new coach is amazing. Teaches all the moves that I like to learn and, you know, Teaches me how to diet correctly. I just love uh, the interaction with the, the guys, the fellas. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy uh, watching them succeed. And I enjoy teaching moves and watching them do those moves out in matches and having success. Holy Innocence has a strong equestrian team this year. Miss Debbie Wood is a first time coach at Holy Innocence. Holy Innocence has already made it to the state playoffs. We're great. We have already qualified for zone finals, which are in March, and I expect us to go to nationals because we're really, really, really good. And um, our last tour show, which was Holy Innocence Horse Shows, we were the champions of the whole show. It was great. In swimming, the girls travel to Westminster this Friday and Saturday for the state meet. Jen McMahon has already qualified in two events and has led the team the squad this year. The Holy Innocence varsity baseball team were the state champions last year. Most players expect to do just as good this year. Um, expectations for this year are to win another state championship and in, and in the process uh, uh, win with sportsmanship and uh, you know respect for the game, hard work. Now the expectations are a little bit higher. The bar has been set a little higher. So it's uh, it's great, but there's a little more pressure now. The Holy Innocence lacrosse team did pretty well last year. Going 10-6 is not bad, says Coach Thornton. Well, we expect to do a pretty good job this year. We have a lot of seniors. We've got good leaders. We've got uh, several returning All-State players. We expect to do pretty well. Davis Lukens is a returning All-American. He should be our team leader along with Kit York on the attack. Philip Georgiakakis should lead our defense. And we hope to get a good season out of Brian Garber, who's going to be a first-year starting goalie. Here are some of the latest scores from Holy Innocence Athletics. have Polar Express Day, where they get to stay in their pajamas all day long, watch movies, eat candy, and read books. On Polar Express Day, we have the kids come in first thing in the morning in their pajamas, and all the teachers wear their pajamas also. And what they do is we come in, we read the story, and they sit in seats that are lined up like a real life choo choo train. And they get um, hot chocolate. And then we go to different centers where at one center they make an ornament, another center they um, another center they make reindeers out of brownies, and in another center they make candy choo choo trains. 
Your book staff has been working extremely hard to get this year's yearbook out. I'm, I'm in here after school every day, and it just from the beginning, like from summer to end of March, we're working weekends. We sometimes work. We have class every day, so it takes a lot of time, but it's fun at the same time. Um, it's a pretty big process. You need to take a lot of pictures, be able to write pretty well, like body copy and captions, and stuff that you read in your book. Um, you need to make sure everyone's names are spelled correctly and that everyone's ID correctly. Um, you have to worry about design to make sure the pages look good and the color and the font and all those characteristics. In middle school news, science teacher James Jackson conducted an experiment testing the kinetic and potential energy of different types of falling balls. Students dropped and measured five different types of balls. Between dropping golf balls, tennis balls, styrofoam balls, rubber balls, and ping pong balls, they found that golf balls retained the most kinetic energy and styrofoam balls retained the least. The pre-firsters worked together with Miss Me's fifth grade class to create a podcast of their letters to Santa. Many podcasts include pictures of the things they wanted from the Toys R Us website. This means says it gives the fifth graders a chance to be the experts. They saw how nervous the little kids were using the laptops. When we come back from the break, weather anchor Sarah Kate Shane will have the five day forecast. June 2008, but let's see what we're going to get in the next few days. As you can see, on Monday we're going to get a high of 50 and a low of 31, a 10% chance of rain, but it'll be mostly sunny. On Tuesday, we're going to get a high of 58, a low of 40, 10% chance of rain, and it'll be mostly cloudy. On Wednesday, we'll have a high of 59, a low of 40, and a 30% chance of rain, but it'll be mostly cloudy. On Thursday, We'll get a high of 59, a low of 44, 10% chance of rain, and mostly cloudy. On Friday, we'll get a high of 62, a low of 43, 10% chance of rain, it'll be sunny. Um, last night we hit the record low of 7 degrees, and that was last hit in 1859. Let's see what, what's happening in your neighborhood. In Atlanta, it is 62 degrees. In Marietta, it is 58 degrees. In Athens, it is 64 degrees. If we look over in the west, we can see that they're in the mid-60s. Let's, let's look at the weather right now outside. Okay. As you can see, the humidity is 69%, and it will be sunny, and the temperature is 38 degrees. The wind is coming from the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Thank you for watching HITV Weather Forecast. On November 19, 2007, the lower school had grandparents and special friends day. Grandparents visited their grandchild's classroom and participated in various events. In the fourth grade, students recorded interviews on laptops. On December 17, 2007, the pre-K got a visit from Santa Claus, also known as the Coffee Essential Man, Bob, who dressed up as Santa Claus and asked the children what they wanted for Christmas. There is no report if Bob is a real Santa Claus or if he is just one of the helpers. It is always hard to get back to school after a long break, but middle schoolers ease back into the real world by spending another week outside the classroom. For the first time, the middle school experimented with Focus Week, where each grade level was assigned a different concept on which to concentrate. The teachers and students will all return to their classroom setting and apply the Focus Week experiences to their day-to-day -day activities. On December 17, 2007, the lower school orchestra had a concert. They played Jazzy Jingle, Chopsticks, and Majestic March as their pieces. The dress rehearsal was held the day before in front of the second and third grade audiences. Ms. Waddell teaches writer's workshop to the entire lower school. 
and at the end of the student's final draft, they get to read their stories to their class. It's called Author's Chair. And the students in the audience get to eat snacks while listening. The entire fourth grade now is working on couplets.